Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This tutorial is focused on reconstruction using fixed rigs. Fixed rigs are composed by a certain number of synchronized cameras configured to shoot at the same time. One example application of fixed rig is for human body reconstruction. These devices are now commonly used in visual effects studios as they allow to capture moving subjects such as humans. Generally speaking, you have a fixed rig when a certain amount of physical cameras can shoot at the very same time. If the relative positions and orientations are fixed, you can pre-calibrate the rig and get a metrically scaled reconstruction out of the box. Step 1. Creating the camera setup. For this tutorial, we will use the ERIC dataset courtesy of Weta Digital. Start a new project and make sure to select the human body preset or make sure that the ungroup calibration on final bundle adjustment parameter in the custom values is set to 1 if using different settings. This tells Zephyr that all the cameras are physically different and should be ungrouped at the end of the structure from motion process. Always remember that the results highly depend on the initial orientation. Since this is a critical phase, always double check your results and consider adjusting the orientation with manual control points if needed. Remember that this phase is for calibration only, so make your life easier by wearing texture clothes and eventually by placing markers or random patterns around your scanning booth. Step 2. Saving the camera setup. It is a good idea to scale the model with control points at this stage, so that your next processing will be already in the correct scale. You are also free to do additional operations, such as rotating or setting the origin via control points. After the sparse point cloud has been generated successfully, export the camera internals and externals as XMP files from the Export, Export Cameras and Points menu by checking Export Camera Intrinsics and Extrinsics as XMP files. At this point, you can either proceed down the Zephyr pipeline or use a different photo set. Step 3. Skipping the Structure from Motion step for new projects. Let's start a new project by loading the previously saved camera positions. We are using the same photos, but in a real world scenario, this dataset will be taken of a different subject stepping into the capture rig. Copy the generated XMP files to the directory of the new project. From the File menu, select Load photos with known parameters and add the photos like you normally would. The wizard will skip the camera calibration page and in the summary, you should see Fixed Camera PPM loaded. After clicking Run, Zephyr will use the defined camera information. Zephyr will still need to compute key points for each photo, however, the computation time for the Structure from Motion step will be significantly lowered, as no camera calibration need to be computed anymore. It is suggested to keep a wide bounding box that encloses more than just the subject. This will help Zephyr extract more detail on thin parts of the subjects, such as fingers or accessories. Please remember that even the slightest movement of any camera, or even a minor camera configuration change such as the focal length, would require you to redo the first step completely. Optional step, multi-layer with projectors. At any time, you may want to switch your images if your device have a mounted projector like the public Richard dataset from Pi3D Scan. This helps avoiding photo consistency artifacts and also helps to obtain a photorealistic texture of your subject. You can switch the main layer from Tools, Workspace, Manage Camera Layers, or simply select Tools, Workspace, Change Workspace Images if you did not start a project with multiple layers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group to vote for the next video tutorial.